Hey everybody, I am Blue Coaster and welcome to a new video of Crit or Circuit. So this is a game that I found on Steam. It was a about two and fifty buck, so it wasn't too expensive. So I I decided to give it a try. So this is a game that like it's it's like programming, but it's more like circuit, like circuitry, like um, electronic and stuff. And this is a good way to uh, practice this. So I guess that uh, we're going to try it out and see if that we can uh, see if we could do some more videos after this on this game. If you feel that it's pretty interesting, or if I feel like I want to do more. So uh, we're gonna uh, experiment there. So what I so I'm gonna move around it because there's some menu that is kind of like in the way so first of all we got the menu we got options workshop playlist uh levels customize and exit so basically options is where you can like um move um like uh modify your volume and stuff i've put like a bunch of stuff like in uh, down there is what's what's pretty loud for me and uh as other advanced next level so whenever you complete the level then you move to the next level and then there's animate cables so this uh black thing the, ba the black bars that or the black circles that are moving inside the, the circuit uh these are the animate cables and you can choose your language can be Deutsch or or english uh, i guess this is um german and you have the controls so you can look at, at the controls and and basically like um, learn them. It's not too complicated and uh, half of them are more like for the editor or the uh, um, the build mode so all we're gonna do today is just play a couple of levels and see uh, what this game is so let's uh, go there. Uh, also uh, one thing is that you need to like when you go to options or anything you need to press this um, menu thing the the hamburger menu to like exit the menus and then go back to another menu or i guess like let's see yeah you can do that as also but it's kind of um, i kind of i don't know you can I, I want to toggle stuff too um so the workshop is basically you can have your own uh playlist of levels and you can upload them in the workshop so you can like publish your playlist so you, so other players can play them you can make your own levels and that's pretty cool but also we have the playlist so that's where you can like create your like custom playlist here you can create a new playlist uh custom there i guess that um i don't know what they do there there's workshop the default uh, i guess that it's your like playlist it's just listing your stuff all right levels basically uh, these are all the official levels and I'm going to go through a couple of them but not all of them for today I, I want to keep the videos short you know then we have like the levels like you can you can create your own levels so create a new level enter the name so I can like uh, do something there and you press ok and then yeah create the level then we have a uh, customize there you can customize the color so the blue bar there it's it's a color it's this one and there's the i guess the blue bar for the buttons um the buttons and the gate it's the uh, the thing uh, the energy that comes that comes through so this one all right so we are pretty set there to start our first level there all right so this first level is pretty simple all you have to do is turn that because uh what you want to do okay yes you have the battery and then you have the the target and you want to uh get the battery to the target and there could be multiple targets so this one is like the easiest but all it does this thing this switch is to um guide the the circuit so all I need to do is switch that and then boom it just connects like that now second level uh, it's a pretty simple level but here it is here's the catch there you don't want to flip this right away because uh, you have the bomb and you have the target you want to get the target not the bomb so all you have to do okay um, I'm gonna show you 
what happens if you hit the bomb? That happens. So what you want to do instead, here's uh, um, here's the switch. That's the switch, okay? You can turn this to guide the circuit, the energy there, the power. So all you have to do now is click this and then it will uh, go through all the circuit and guide the circuit, the energy, the power through this uh, switch there inside this cable and then hit the target. So let's turn and then boom, we got a target. All right, next level. This is a pretty simple level, but you, you need to know what the symbol is. This isn't a commercial ant or it's an ant. So the ant is basically, uh, you need both circuits, both inputs to be on. So I'm gonna flick this and flick this and then boom, it is on. Now next level we have, uh, now I've got on uh, this level there, we have two batteries, so two power providers. And what I need to do is uh, provide power to this um, module and provide power to this module. This is an OR symbol, so active when at least one input is powered. So there's one and it, uh, that means it's, always, it's already active. I can have both of them and it will still be active. I can have this one and not this one and it will be active. But if none of them are active, then this won't power. So all I need to do, okay, is flick this because I need this power, uh, this to power this because I will have to switch this. I'll show you what I mean there. So if I switch this, here was here's what happens. It powers the uh, end symbol there, but uh, there's no power there, and I, I need power there. So what I need to do is have uh, at least one of them, uh, at least one of these inputs to to be powered. And what I need to do is flick this to power the line there and ha and power it to the OR symbol and then boom it will get it. Alright, so next level we got the uh, NOT symbol. So as you can see there is a there is a uh, ex exclamation mark and what it does is that it opposites the input there. Uh, so if the input is on then the apple will be off. If the input is off, then the output would be on. So what I want to do is block the signal from this um, switch there, uh, gate, whatever you call it, and then this will power off and this will power on because the knot just inverts the signal. So here it is. Here it is. Alright, so next level there. Now it gets interesting because what I want to do there is move myself. All right, so this is kind of corner, but you know. All right. So what you want to do there, you have an or an hand, and this one there, it is equal. Output is active when both inputs are the same. So what I want to do is have either both of them, both of the inputs to be off or on. I can't have two different inputs, not off, not on. Uh, if, if this one is off and this one is on, then this will be off there, the output, because it's not equal. So what I want to do is, you know, get this on there. So I have three uh, power there, three inputs there to be, uh, or lines to be uh, powered something there. And now I have the, uh, the OR symbol there. I don't need to power the OR twice like that, so I'm gonna pull that here and I need the Ansible to be right there. But then, but then I need to, you know, block this because I, all I want to do is make uh, the, uh, both inputs equal. So I need to block this and then boom, completes the level. Alright, next we have the battery, so I'm kind of blocking it, but it's a battery. That's all it is. And you have a switch, you have an Ansible, another Ansible, you have a uh, switch right there, the, another battery. But here's a catch, you need to hit the target, not the bomb. So I want to power, I want to change, I want to change the switch right there and not this one. If I switch this one, what will happen is that it will route the, uh, 
the battery will route uh, i mean the switch will route the power through the second uh, line right there and this one will be already powered so the ansible will be true and because it's true it will output power so so what it will do is trigger the bomb well boom all right so what i want to do is flick this one not this one there we go all right, that's gonna be it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you find, found this interesting please leave a like subscribe comment below if you are interested if you have levels to share uh, eventually i'll play them if you want to uh get this game if you want if you really are in interested in circuits uh, uh, I, I recommend this game so far it's a pretty good game there's a lot of, there's some modifications to do uh, regarding the menu but for the gameplay itself it's pretty cool so again one thing to add there is a toggle for full screen because i want to play this in non, not on the full screen so uh that's all i request for now thank you so much for watching and as always take care see you in next time